Number 62, which produces more heat? And then we have two different types of flow equations here. We're both starting off with osmonium solid, and it's going to get turned into two oxygen gases. And then from there, I can get the OSO4, right? But the only difference here is that the top one, I'm producing a solid, and the bottom one, I'm producing a gas. Now, they do tell us that for the phase change from a solid to a gas, I need, or this system will need, 56.4 kilojoules. Now, the question here is, will this conversion absorb 56.4 kilojoules, or will it release 56.4 kilojoules? Since this is a positive value, right, positives are always endothermic, and endothermic always means absorb the heat. Absorb. Absorb. Okay. So if I need to absorb, the system needs to take in 56.4 kilojoules in order to go from a solid to a gas, that's not going to be producing any heat into the surroundings, right? If you need to take in heat to go from a solid to a gas, you're not going to be producing heat and transferring it into the environment, aka the surroundings. So that's basically what it's going to come down to here. Which one, in theory, produces more heat as you go from a solid, or maybe I'll put this down here, as you go from a solid to a liquid, to a gas, you're going to constantly keep needing, you're going to constantly uh, need to absorb more and more and more heat. You're going to have to hold the energy in so that you could change from different states. So as you're going from solid to liquid and to liquid to gas, you are absorbing heat. This will not allow you to produce the heat into the environment. So basically, the more steps that you need, you know, to go from a solid to a liquid to a gas, you're not going to produce any heat. You're going to absorb it all, right? So in this case, which one is going to produce the more heat? It's the osmonium solid one. So it's this whole guy. So maybe I'll just box this off like this. Mainly because I'm stopping at a solid. So I'm going to produce the maximum amount of heat and give it into the environment. If I need it to keep going to a liquid or to a gas, I'm going to have to absorb more heat. And that kind of, you know, uh, cancels out all the energy that I put out into the environment. Hopefully this helped. Okay. So maybe we can say, you know, solid to liquid to gas absorbing heat. So it produces less heat. just to kind of show you the little flow. And that's it, guys. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for reviewing the video. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I'll see you all in future lessons. Have a great day. Bye-bye.